In this video, I will show you how to download and install the genuine or official release version of Microsoft Office 2024. This includes Visio. This process is very simple and easy to follow. The first thing we have to do is to completely uninstall the previous or any Office application currently installed on our computer. To do this, right-click on the Start button. Choose Installed Apps. We can use the search box to easily find the application. Just simply type Office then hit Enter. Microsoft Office will be shown here, if you can't see it here then it means no Microsoft Office currently installed on your computer. To uninstall, Click on the three dots icon. Choose Uninstall. Choose Uninstall again. You need to verify so click Uninstall. Wait for it to finish the process. Make sure to reboot your computer after uninstalling the application. This is to avoid errors or issues. If you just did a fresh operating system installation then no need for you to do this process. Done Uninstalling. It's recommended that you restart your computer to complete the process. Tick close. If you have some other office installed, you can also uninstall it. Just do the same process. Once done then restart your computer. After restart then we can proceed. Now, let's proceed. Let's first download the required files. Open your web browser. Search for office customization tool. Choose the first option which is from the official website office.com. We are now at the Office Customization tool. We have to configure the deployment settings. Under Products and Release, we need to choose which architecture we want to deploy. If you are using older versions of Windows then you need to check your architecture version. Windows 10 and below have 32-bit versions. If you are using Windows 11 then it's definitely a 64-bit version since Windows 11 doesn't have a 32-bit version. Next is the products. We will choose which products and apps we are going to deploy. First is the Office Suites. Click on it to view the options and then choose Office LTSC Professional Plus 2024, Volume License. At the right, under Products, you can see that Office Professional Plus 2024 has been added to our configuration settings. Below the Office Suites, we have the option to add Visio. Visio is not included in the Office LTSC Professional Plus 2024 package. It's an additional and optional feature. We will add Visio. Tick on it to expand and then choose Visio LTSC Professional 2024 Volume License. It's now been added to our configuration settings. Leave the rest to default settings. You can see the version which is latest so no need to change. Next is the apps. We can choose what applications we want to include and exclude in the installation process. If you want to exclude something then tick on it to off or exclude from the installation. Tick on it to turn it on or include it on the installation. Blue means on or include. Grayed out is to off or exclude. Once everything is set then tick next to proceed. Next is the language. This package includes different languages. Click on the primary language to view all the available languages. You can scroll down to choose your preferred language. For this demo, we will choose English United States. We also have the option to choose additional languages. You can scroll down, tick on it to select then choose add. I'm not going to add additional languages so I just leave it to default. Click next to proceed. You can review the configuration settings at the right. Under Languages, you can see that we only added English which is the primary language. For the installation, leave the settings to default so just click Next. Next is the Update and Upgrade options. Scroll down and under Upgrade options, disable the option to uninstall any MSI version office, including Visio and Project. Click Next to proceed. For licensing, you can see the product key that will be used. Notice that Office 2024 has a different product key from Visio. Click Next to proceed. Under General, this is not for organization or company so just leave it blank. Click Next to proceed. Lastly the application preferences. Just scroll down to the bottom then click Finish. At the right, 
we can view the configured settings. Under product, we can see that we choose 64-bit architecture. We also choose Office LTSC Professional Plus 2024 Volume License. Also, we are going to add Visio Professional Plus 2024 on the installation. These are all the latest versions that have been released. Lastly, we choose the English United States language. Once everything is set, choose Export. We will be asked to choose the default file format, we will choose Office Open XML formats. Click OK to proceed. Accept the terms in the license agreement. The file name will be Configuration. Tick Export to proceed. We can see the downloaded file with a file name configuration.xml is what we set. We will check the file later. Next is we will download another required file. You can open another tab and search for Office Deployment Tool. Choose the option that is from the official website which is Microsoft.com. This application has only one language which is English. Click Download to proceed. The Office Deployment Tool has been downloaded. Let's check the downloaded files. We can do this by clicking directly on the folder icon or show in folders or we can open manually the downloads folder. We can see the two files downloaded which are the configuration and office deployment tool. We will put it together in one folder. Let's create a new folder. We will give it a name of office 2024. We can cut these files or drag it to the new folder. Open the folder. Right click on the Office Deployment tool then choose Run as Administrator. Check the box to accept the Microsoft Software License Terms. Click Continue to proceed. We need to extract the files to the Office 2024 folder. We will open the Downloads folder then choose the folder we created which is Office 2024. Click OK to proceed. Files extracted successfully. Notice the new files that have been added. Now. Click back or go back to the downloads folder. We will move this folder to a different location. Right click on it, choose cut or control plus X. Next is click on the local disk C. Right click on the window then choose paste or control V. Now, we will run a few commands. Go to search then type CMD or command prompt. We need to run it as administrator. Right click on it then choose run as administrator or simply click run as administrator. You can copy these commands in the description below. First is to copy the first command. To do this, highlight the command then press Ctrl plus C on your keyboard. Next is click on the command prompt icon, hover your cursor to edit then choose paste. Hit enter. We are now in the office 2024 folder. Next is to copy the next command. Highlight the whole command then press Ctrl plus C again on your keyboard to copy. Click on the command prompt icon, hover your cursor to edit then choose paste. Hit enter. It will automatically start to download and install the Microsoft Office 2024. This process will take a few minutes depending on your internet speed and computer performance. During this process, do not interrupt the operation. Make sure the device will not be disconnected from the internet and do not turn off or reboot the computer. Just wait for it to finish the process. You're all set. Office is installed now. Close the window. You can also close the command prompt. Let's check the applications. Let's search and try to launch the Microsoft Office Word application. We will check the product license information. Go to account. You can see that the product is activated. All the other apps like the Excel and PowerPoint are also activated. Next is we will check the Visio. If we go to account, we can also see that the product is activated. If your product is not activated then redo the installation process again. Make sure to completely uninstall other Microsoft Office installed before you install this new one. Another way to activate is to use third-party applications like Microsoft Toolkit or KMS Pico. You can check my other video tutorial. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you like this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. 
Thank you and see you in the next video.